Hello, all you fan freaking tastic people! It's your boy MB Dusa coming back with Final Fantasy 16, and man, it was quite the epic fight in the last one. But now we're going back to the hideaway. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How are y'all doing? Have a good time. Y'all have a good day. Hey Turtle. How you doing, boy? Out of the shadow. Mm. I'd better give Otto the good news. Yeah, we do. Let's go. Welcome home, Sid. Give me 50 good wards, eight Oh, and we got a new hunt too. There's a lot of stuff that I've got. While I'm here, I'm gonna go check out the new hunts, but I want to go check out at least a reading table, right? I don't really care about the edit storm right now, but or Vivian's, you know, all the extra stuff that Vivian says. Clive, you're back. Mm hmm. It's stronger than ever. I am. And with glad tidings for once. Hugo Kupka is no more. Well, I'll be. All of our comrades who lost their lives back at Sid's place be smiling down at you right now. We had a stolas from Lubor saying Drake's fang had fallen. I expect that was your doing as well, was it? Oh, yeah, I was! It's <laughs> a long story. <laughs> One for the history books, I'll bet. And a big ass story, Welcome too. Home, Clive. It was massive! It's good to be back. You look better. I feel it. Which means I'm coming on your next little adventure. You're not leaving me behind again. Wouldn't dream of it. Otto. Any uh, word on the royalist movement since I've been away? Shouldn't you be putting your feet up? <sighs> if you really want to know, go and have a word with Vivian. I guess we'll talk Thank to you. Vivian in the end. <laughs> but first, I want to see the pants. Yeah, boy. Oh, we got several new ones. Holy Jesus. We got the Soul Stingers. Mm hmm. In Dalmicchio. And then we got the Cattery at Dalmicchio. And then we got the Jaw. The Dominic name now. And, uh. He broke the world so hard that they have no idea where he is. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, urgent notice to all curse breakers due to the discovery of a fallen giant in the Rosarian ruins. We have lately been investigating all work in the region is to be halted with immediate effect and all members are to proceed no further than the village gate. Lest the echo should be awakened by our presence, no further action may be taken without Sid's express permission. It is an S rank. And I think I know where they might be talking about. Fallen Ruins, Rosarian. Wait, is that the place where I was trying to attack the door? And I was like, let me in. I want to speak to your manager. Don't you know who I am? Remember, remember that one? Open! Open, Sesame! Could be there. But yeah, these. <clears throat> let me read these. Soul Stingers, a swarm of vicious Vulcan has of late made its nest near an abandoned village in the fields of Korava. And as the hive has grown, so too has its hunger. Already, the stripped corpse of great beast has been sighted in its vicinity. Should the Vulcan be left to their own devices, the nearby settlements shall, shall surely be reduced to naught but a collection of bleach bones within a 12 moon. 
Grimalkin, just off the sickle, the road that leads from Delamil to the Jaw, lies a dead end canyon into which travelers moving at night are wont to stray, providing a constant supply of sustenance for feline most foul. With the daytime desert heat ever its own threat to life, and merchants ever mindful not to waste their land, last shards of crystal on the lighting of lamps, only the monster's demise might save them. Hmm. So those are both C ranks, and then this is an A rank. The Nine of Knives. Dalmican traders are wont to say a prayer. <laughs> to stay, sorry. To say a prayer for unwary travelers journeying from Delamil to Drake's fame. Or there lurks a bloodthirsty brigand, one who appears to be more interested in letting the blood of his quarry than he is in any guild or goods he might plunder from their caravans. If the road is to be made safe again, then at least one traveler passing through the place must not flee, but stand and fight. So, pretty decent. 10.5k gills here, 20k gills here, 50 renowns. Yeah, C ranks, okay. We'll, uh, we'll go and do these. All right, Vivian, what you gotta say? Ah, the conquering hero returns. And with hardly a scratch on him. Very funny how fast I news travels. may have picked up one or two. <laughs> well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent of Waluders. Waluders? Very same. But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the Royalists, he took them to his grave. <laughs> as did his men. Slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the Fang. Orcs, Vivian. I've never seen such creatures in Storm before. The Waluders must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home, the mother crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? It makes no sense. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the Adamantus? Nope. One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? Ultima. This is all Ultima's doing. The kingdom of Walud claims I'll dominion over all of Ash. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin. The Canvarian War of Independence in 849. The Battle of the Twin Realms in 865. The Battle of Belinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the Blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Walud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Walud standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot? <laughs> probably us. Or probably a battle between us and Odin. In summary, I know not to what end the royalist betrayed Kukka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the Royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Nice. Well, not quite all in your case. 
The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kupka is dead. Are we going to have a celebration? left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are, all of us, sentimental animals at heart. True. I suppose we are. Very well. Yup. I'll go and spread the word. Mm, I'm gonna go spread the good word. Oh. What are you talking about? Oh, have you not heard? It was my understanding that everyone had heard. Heard what? Brian, don't! Oh, well, I'm bad, bad, bad. Bad, bad. Hey, oh, hey, Jill. What you got to say? It's good to have you back. I was worried. Oh, thank you, Gil. I call her Gil again. Let, let's try to make that positive. I call her Gil because she is worth a lot of money. I tried! I'm trying! I'm trying, you can't blame me. I'm trying. Hey, nuts. Ah, Clive. Have you come seeking the gift of knowledge? No. To share mine, actually. Hugo Kupka is dead. He... Oh, my. Can it really be true? <laughs> Look, he's crying. <laughs> he is <laughs> big baby. Shut the fuck up, owls! And with good reason. I'll children. fucking smack you. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. There shall be no lessons today, only thanksgiving and merrymaking. Go, put away your things. All right. Brilliant. Yes. <laughs> Finally, a new dawn has broken. It has. Thank you, Clive. I cannot wait to share the good news. Hippocrates. After Kuka fell, Ultima came to me. I need to know what he is. Have you learned anything? Alas, no. Wow. And not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. But I saw him with my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who has. Not true. To others, he reveals naught. We see only that which he leaves in his wake, like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal man. A brother of death. Whether the Ultima you met with was the being itself, or merely another projection of its power, I know not. But until I do, my investigations shall continue. Thank you. It means a lot. He's a good guy. I like Tomes. Tomes, you're good. As a celebration, we shall all share our foods and everything, including your nuts to Torgal. Yeah. I will not forget that one. That was. Uh. Hey, Karen, I got some good news. You gotta be nice. Talk to me with respect. Well, someone looks pleased with himself. It's true what I'm hearing, then. Nothing escapes you, Lady Karen. It's true. Kuka is dead. Hmm. No more looking over our shoulders, then. Good. I'm starting to get a crick in my neck. Don't let it go to your head, though. I want Karen. Ooh, but you got pieces of candy. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Go on then. 
<laughs> oh, enhancer. More attack, but less stagger. No, stagger's really good. Like, for five attack, we're losing 10 stagger. I don't think I'm a fan of that one, though. No. Yeah. It seems like for equipment and shit, there's not really much that's new-ish, right? Meteor Rat. I don't need to buy any of these. I don't need I don't want to buy any of these yet. I can buy a high potion. I cannot find a better price than that. You know what would be fun or nice? I've noticed sometimes that when I'm like I run out of potions, I need to heal. It would be nice to be able to purchase potions beyond our capacity, but it gets used right away and it heals us. So I don't have to leave, use the potion, then talk back to the merchant and buy more potions. That would have been a nice little thing, right? Uh, we might as well stock up on these two. Better I'll be here. Cause why not? Find a better price than that. All right. And do I has valuables? I probably do. Uh, yeah, I, I do. I'm, I'm pretty sure that I got some in my adventures in Dalamil. You got out else? I reckon I can find it by you. Seven of these. I'll be thankful you got that much. And I think that's it. Is that all? Yes, it is. Bye, Karen. Love you. Blackthorn. Do you have a moment? What is it? I'm busy. I wanted to tell you that Hugo Cooker is dead. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting to hear those words. <laughs> this is it then. Uh, a new beginning under a new Sid. I'll try to live up to the name. I think I think you are. Right. I'm... Let's see if Otto has anything else for me. Hmm. I love this view. I, I gotta go see the view one more time. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. I know. I know. Me wrong with the crash, dude. No, look. Look at this. Like, look at this. This is. Hmm. I love nature. <laughs> Probably why I live in the middle of the forest. With like no neighbors. Oh yeah, that's right. What do you need? Do you have anything more than this enhancer weapon your... thingamajig? Oh, we got enhance. Oh, now the enhancer plus one increases our attack and we don't lose any stagger. So that's a that's kind of good, right? And I don't. Yeah, going to ooh. Ooh, 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 white worm bone. I don't know where I get that. Hurt and fury. Well, this is better. So not bad. If I do say so myself. Do I have any thing that no? The Drake Slayer's belt is pretty much the best that I can have. Right now. All right. Yes. What about reinforce? Can I reinforce this new weapon that I just got? And I can! Oh! You can thank me later. Oh! Hmm. Hmm. But this diamond sword though, right? Diamond sword plus two. Yeah, diamond sword plus two would even increase our attack and stagger by even more. Did we unlock any... No, we did not. Certain sash. Plus one HP, but is there any point to even try to focus to get these? No, not really. Okay. Not it. Fine. So, I think what I'm gonna do is remove the sword. I kind of I like the armor, but I kind of want to see the um, the weapons that I have equipped, right? Uh, oh, look at that! Yeah, that is very. Dalmachian. Look at that curve. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh, and that guard on top there. Oh. Mm. It's you good shit. The crystal too. Before I go talk to Otto, I, I did want to check out the journal here. Ooh. But what came in the way? Oh, there's two. <laughs> I don't have 
a good spot for my 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 webcam. And it's it's blocking a bit of the screen, and I wasn't sure like is homecoming new or not? A desert Alliance Sid the second. I trust you will forgive me for putting you and your dear uncle to the test. I'm confident that a man of your position can understand the importance of earning one's trust, especially in times like these. For what it is worth, you now have earned mine, and I can assure you, it shall not easily be relinquished. May this be the start of a fruitful relationship. Ruzina. Homecoming. I apologize for what happened at Rosalith. Don't. You don't have to apologize. Come on. Come on, Jill. I fear what might have been had, not you, Gav. And... Wait, what? I fear what might have been had, not you. <laughs> what, that, that, that's a tongue twister in itself. Gav and Torgal fought so fiercely. Once again, you were there when I needed you the most, and for that I shall forever be grateful. Seeing the city I have once come to know as my home reduced to flame and rubble has left me with much sadness in my heart. But the time for looking back is beyond us. We must focus on the here and now. Our memories will be waiting for us. But this is all through. Jill. Jill, you're alright. You don't need you don't need to apologize for nothing. We were not the assholes. I'm telling you, it's true. I heard it from Otto's Hmm. It's a nice guitar. You barely sat down since you came home. Vivian got you running errands or something. Just spreading the word. Well, hey guys, what's the word? Uh, bird? Bird is the word. So, the professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. No. She was right, though. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. What am I hearing in the background? Sid. Is it cool, Paul? You should tell him. Hmm. You're right. I should. And I will. Well, when you do, be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down at that workshop of hers, trying to do her father proud. But I can't remember the last time she visited the old Salt's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. Mm. She is. Wait, is she at her new. Yeah, she is. <laughs> What is it called? Mid's Dungeon. <laughs> Ooh, what kind of dungeon? <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. We finally got some side quests from the Aligned Report. Dive. Here you go. All right. So the Holy Empire of Sambrek. We got for great justice. And then we have... Oh, in the Dominican Republic, uh, use your low. Kidoki. Um, so where is that? That's a uh, lost one. Yes. Okay. So we got to go to lost one. We got to go to Delamil Inn again. Yep. Okay. That's fine. Think you can help? Oh, we shall. And we shall be doing a lot of hunts from the look of it. I will be starting off with the easier hunts first. Get rid of, get those. And... I'm not sure if I should be attempting the S rank one yet, but you know. I can't talk to you across the table. All right, Clive. What do you want? I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Come on, come visit your father's thermal. grave. <laughs> displacement stack. Here. 
And uh, this is for the ship. Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood, and more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped ship rides into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> first things first, I need some parts making. Uh. The sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in here that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shield in around the sides that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. Uh full suit of armor then probably best to take it one piece at a time then you'll need to start with the plating everything else fits onto it i've got the designs and the list of materials here show these to blackthorn he'll know what to do i can't make it not tell of them luckily you don't need to <laughs> bye bit Hey Blackthorn, I got I got work for you for like the next five years. It's kinda cool. Got a contract going and everything. Wait, isn't it faster just to go this way? Yeah, it is. And then we get to see this beautiful view all over again. Good stuff. The best of the best. Blackthorn. Can I ask a favor? Hell with it. It's for mid. This my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. I'd spare myself for your sake. Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. His <laughs> Let's see his reaction. A thermal plating designs instructions on how to go about building oneself. A full set of thermal plating to dissipate heat from around the mithril engine. Should one find oneself in need of such a thing. And reaction. Well, I don't know what the hell you'd want this for, but I can make it. Won't be easy, though. And I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will you? All right. So Mid's roped us all in here again, has she? Typical. Still, if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And, uh, what is it we need to do, exactly? Seems excessive just to Take go see a, a grave. It's this plating. The usual saw grade still won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperature she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valkroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. I'll go get the sand. We'll make your minds up who's going where, and we can get this over with. Because there's a couple of hunts there. And a side quest. So, you know. You going after the Stardust then, are you? Yes! Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? Oh, we get to choose! Well, this is new! 
All right, you know what? You know what? You would think that we would pick Gav, but we've never had Otto with us. Otto has always just been there making sure, you know, like the hideaways stays afoot, I guess. That's how you want to say it. So I think I'm going to bring Otto with me because why the fuck? No, like we've never went out with the guy. Otto, you're with me. All right, then. Where do we find this stardust, and how will we know it when we see it? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. And I'm guessing you'll be needing sad clothes of the stuff. Might be worth our importers and the Dalai Milin. I'll head down there. See about finding us a wagon. All right. I'll meet you by the river. You two take care, eh? I'll go and see the supplier. Just don't let that bastard fleece you, eh? Ah, he wouldn't do that. He's Blackthorn's mate. Isn't he? <laughs> Best of luck. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Let me go... I know there's one that was in the Valkyroi. One in the jaw. I think there's two in the jaw. Yeah, there was one of the hunt that was in the Valkyrie Science, one that was where all the limestone is, and one at the jaw itself. If I'm not mistaken. And on top of that, we also have the... Uh, the side quest that's available there, right? Empty hovel. Okay, no, empty hovel, the catering, and the jaw. Okay. But there's three there. So, first, I'm, I'm gonna grab the side quest because we might be able to do that at the exact same time. Yeah. Hello, good sir. Matej Pastabeka. Oh! Done, just like that. And without so much as a buy your leave. What's the matter? Uh, oh, it, it's my apprentice. He up and vanished while my back was turned. I'd go and look for him myself, but I've got a bakery to run. A bakery that's now short, one pair of hands. Loath though I am to rely on the kindness of strangers, I'm at a loss. Please, will you see if you can find him? Yeah, he might be in trouble, Let's actually. Can do. Do he might, might just be in trouble, and that's not a good thing. Ah, I wouldn't be surprised if he was off somewhere mooning at Drake's Fang. He used to work there, you see. Poor fool left his heart in its hollow. All right, then that's where I'll start. I gotta go all the way back to Drake's Fang. Oh! Ah! Use your loaf! Right, but I don't want to go there right, right now, right? So let's see here. So what is this? The bandit's bed. That's not where we need to go. Ooh, there's these here. I don't need that. It's not there. The Norton Velcro Desert. That's known as the races. Sickle. The jaw is there. Okay. So if we look here. There is no place that is called... I don't see Empty Hovel or the Catering. Now, I do see the job. Hmm. Yeah, so I might... So it, this might be what it is, like... These little pins and whatnot on the map, right? Because we got the Watcher. We got the Bandit's Bed. So I will probably have to travel through here. And that might be what it is. We might find something that is called those things, right? The empty hovel, the cannery. I think though, the cat itself would be this way because it was between the jaw and the Delmin, Delmil Inn. And this was blocked off last time, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this was blocked off, and I couldn't go this way. 
So we'll go this way, try to see if the hunt is there, and then come back and do the side quest. I think that is fair. Ugh. And you know what? There's something else that I think I want to try. I want to actually try and see if these are actually worth it. Now, I want this. I guess I could have removed that for the Titan fight earlier. But I wasn't really thinking. And increases defense by 30 and temporarily increases attack proficiency with each. Like, I love the, ber the Berserker ring and the style of fighting that it gives me. I don't want to remove it. I just love it. But I think I'm going to remove the batch of metal. And I want to try like maybe one of these, right? Maybe it's not something that is blue. The breath or a purple. I guess the purples would be the most would be the strongest ones, right? What is a move that I have been enjoying a lot? I think it was it's this one raging fists. Do I have anything that would let me do something with Raging Fists? I do not. Scarlet Cyclone. I do have Scarlet Cyclone. This would increase the damage done by 8%. Increases Ignition damage by 12%. And it, I think, isn't Ignition the one that... Yeah, this one. Okay, so I do use that one. <clears throat> Reduces cooldown by two two seconds. I don't feel like that's too crazy though. Upheaval damage by eight percent. Up is upheaval the one where? Yeah, it's the AOE one. You know, let's try it. You know, let's try let's try when they increases the damage, right? Oh, but this one is by ten percent. And I do use Thunderstorm. Thunderstorm is the AOE one, right? No, that's a single target one. Which actually would probably make more sense since I'm going to be fighting a hunt, which is going to be by itself. All right, Thunderstorm. There you go. I'm going to try this. 10% more damage. I don't know. It might be good. It might not be, but we'll see. I do like using it. That does mean I am lowering my defense, though. All right, going on a hunt to find me some hunt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it would be right around this corner here. I need to take a left. Yes, right here. Is this now open? It is fantastic. Ooh, what was that drop? That drop in the music, the sickle. What is this way? Look at that. That's a big old field here. There's a building there too. Hmm. The fields of Korova. Am I still in? I'm still. In, I am still in Dummy. In Aldamakia, Ud Bizba. And oh, empty hovel. That's the one right there, right? Yes, it is. This is close, but one of the hunt is there. Not the one that I would have thought. Oh, look right here. Oh, the dead end, the cannery. It's right there. Okay, so the empty hobble is there. That was one of them. All right, so let's go do that one and then we'll we'll turn back. Ooh, I want to fight that. Big old buffalo-ish kind of looking thingy-majig there. Yeah. Let's go show him who's boss of these fields. Yeah, he'd be good. What's up, bro? Oh! 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 What's wrong? What's wrong? I missed the timing, but that's fine. Oh, come on. That was a precision dodge. Come on. Come 
come on, fucking hit him. Oh! What the hell was that? Take that, you fool! Oh, big damage! Big damage! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, I saw that coming. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's going berserk. He's going berserk. Ah, oh, he went berserk. Almost killed him with that. Almost killed him with that. Let's use a potion here. There's another big dude right there. Oh, well. Do I want to use Ambrosia? Faster. I don't really need to, but you know. Am I going the right way though? <laughs> no. Turn around. Every now and then, I need to turn around. <sighs> Yep, 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 yep. I know. I'm amazing. Album's coming out next week. Super great. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's probably right around there. This little abandoned place here. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Something good? Goblin coins. Hmm. It's a, a it's a wee little bit of a uh, of guild. Hmm. Yeah, it should be right here, right? Yeah. It should be right here. Are there stairs or something? No. Hmm. Let's look around, maybe. Oh. I see them. Glo oh, oh, glowy stingers. Mm. Mm, it's like glow sticks. They're constantly in a rave. All of them are pretty strong. Very nice. Oh shit. Oh yeah, got him. Got him. Got him. Oh! Oh, it, it brings them down. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Alright, so that's one down. He was too far. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Bam! Ba -ba 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 you free! Oh, that was the last one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, very nice. Ooh, look at that a noun. Oh, I got, I'm at 2,000 ability points. Peace at last. All right, let's go get this, uh, you know, at this point I can, I can just ride in Bruxia. And I think it will be time for me to experiment on using combo-ish abilities, right? You know what, let's do that. Let's, let's check that out. Because why not? Right? Of combos and stuff that would be good. How do we reset? Reset all abilities? 
recommended abilities hold really what is it elf oh elf upgrade one ability which one which, which one did we upgrade i have no idea i have absolutely no idea okay i'm gonna reset <laughs> All right, so first of all, I, I want all of these, all right? I think this is the first time I reset everything. Okay, so now I need to I need to think about the moves that I want. I like Deadly Embrace, especially against the bigger creatures because you you can give yourself, once you bring them to half uh, stagger, you, you it gives you a few little two seconds of them not being able to do anything. So I kind of to like this. Now these, when you increase this claw range, yeah. So this is one of the abilities that I really enjoy, right? Deadly Embrace. Now, what would I want with, while I'm using Deadly Embrace, they would be there, it's partially staggered, right? So what I could do with these is to have like very strong abilities. Do I want to do that? Do I want to just have like very, very like strong abilities for something like this? Because again, this would be nice for like for, for stagger, right? So this one, this is for a single target. And usually this is, yeah, when, when I, if I use this for, let's, let's, let's try it. Let's learn this, right? Let's upgrade it. And let's mastery oh my god that uses so many points i have like almost nothing left Ooh, i will oh can you reset an individual point oh you can reset individual things too oh i did not know that i never even tried to reset before so okay so this is not gonna work right this is not gonna work so I think for the sake of saving points, the best one that I should be going for is then Aerial Blast, right? And, and I, I, I can at least upgrade it. I don't have to master it because it's part of the same one, but I do want like another very, very strong ability. However, it's probably going to be costing a lot of points. Yeah, like that would be like all of my points. I don't like that. So I think, I think that I need to just keep another one. I want this, but I want something that is very strong. This is for countering. No, I want this to be like a stagger, deal lots of damage type of thing, right? So we're, we'll keep Aerial Blast. We'll get Gouge. And, and no, I don't want. To, I don't need to master it. I just, I just wanted to upgrade it. Yeah, so we'll do that. So we'll we'll put this one. It doesn't really matter which one. But I want the gouge, and then I want my um, aerial blast. All right. I think so. Yes. Now I do want a titan. I'm really enjoying the titan. So let's go. And I I really like the raging fist. I have been enjoying this one. So what is this? Dive both hands to the ground, causing the lane to surge upward sending. I want to try it out. I do want to try it out. Let's upgrade it because it increase, increases range and number of hits. Okay, sure. Right. I, I want to try this one. Earth and Fury. Because why not? Right. And I'll do the same thing here. I'll put my Raging Fist on square and I'll use the triangle for the very strong ability. Now here I need to choose if I want fire or lightning. And I think I'm going to keep the fire because I, I really like the Phoenix shift for when they're a little bit far. I've been, I enjoy that. Now, do I want another combo? I've been enjoying the blocking and, and stuff, right? I, I think I want to try heat wave again because I haven't been using heat wave like at all from almost the start right 
Heat waves is a really good one. Then what's the other one that I would want? A block? I probably don't want another super strong heavy one. I probably want something that is very simple. But I've been enjoy. Oh yeah, that's right, my limit break. Ooh. I have really been enjoying the ignition because it, it moves them all together. Right? I could, when they're all bunched up, I can just keep them all together and then use a AOE move. But for now, the AOE move would be this. No, no, I, I don't want heat wave. I don't need heat wave, especially with the berserker ring. I don't feel like I need heat wave. But I definitely like ignition. This one's been fun. I will upgrade it. And then I will. What's the other move that I want with ignition then? I really like the Scarlet Cyclone. I think I'm going to keep these ones like that. Okay. So now let's go with ignition and Scarlet Cyclone for triangle. Yeah, all right, let's have some fun. Now, what was the... Uh, oh, yeah, my gear, my gear, my gear. Yeah, I've removed Thunderstorm. So let's go, let's try something else. Upheaval, nope. Reduces ignition cooldown by 2.2 seconds. Pile drive. No, I don't have that. I don't have that one. Reduces aerial blast cooldown by 11 seconds. I think I probably would want that. All right, let's go with this. All right, cool. We have, we are going to be trying out and experimenting. And where the hell am I going? Okay, I got to go straight. I wonder what the next big fight. I'm going to practice on this, th on this thing. I wonder what the next safe. big fight is going to be, though. Yeah. Oh. 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 I dodged the wrong way. See, just like that, then I can do this. And then I can just go crazy on him. And this is probably going to stagger him here. What are you doing with this? Big damage, big, big damage. Is there a bird that was stuck in there? Ooh, it didn't parry him though. All right. I was going limit. Oh! Oh, I got you this time! Hmm. He did hurt me a bit, though. dead i got him right yep okay not bad not bad not bad not bad not bad not bad come on well sometimes i felt like i didn't cause that much damage i guess it's better just to use all my big abilities when he's actually staggered though from what i saw there yo 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 So I'm going to get off here, so I'm pretty sure he's going to be very close. Oh, he's up there. I see him. Am I going to have to fight him with the other little, like, Grimalkin? Am I going to have to fight him with the other little dudes that are down there? Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Let me introduce you to mine. Enemies. Bring it on, bitch. I got you, man. What you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing! Nope, okay. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I gotta be I gotta be careful with that one because he still fucking hurts me. Alright? He still hurts me a heck of a lot. Yeah, I, I don't I don't see shit. I don't see I don't see sh fucking shit. Let's get some healing while well, he's a down for a few seconds, right? Oh, come on! I'm having a hard time with his fucking timings, though. Oh! Nice! Come on. Come on! And do I get him? Let's go! Big finisher! Bam! Oh! Fucker! Woo! Think, Mark! Why did you make me do this? Think, Mark! Think! Oh, Grim 
Grimmel can hide. Grimmel kins have developed spots on their skins which render them nigh invisible as they prowl the arid savannas of Sound and Storm. Said spots provide considerably less camouflage when prowling elsewhere, however. I'm thin by defeating Grimmelkin using crafting. There we go. That wasn't too bad, was it, Toggle? Oh, <laughs> uh, let me uh let me heal up a little bit. I thought I was able to get up there somehow. I thought that I saw way up. Is it right there? I think so. Yeah. What is up here? Maybe a little secret or something? Like a treasure box? Piece of candy. Magic ash. And... Yeah, there is. Treasure box. Nice. Meteorite. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to run all of that. I'm just going to teleport to the jaw. All right. So we got a hunt somewhere in here. I think that's. Oh, yeah, that's them. Right, OK, it's him right there. So he is a a rank. So I assume he's going to be as tough to beat as the the flame prince that I had. I only got him like on the fucking fourth try, right? The nine of knives, rank A. All right. My blade yet. I do have these. Maybe I should have stocked up on potions first. Right? Yeah, I should have stocked up on potions first. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, I don't I I don't get his timings and shit. Holy fuck. Yeah. I'm just about to get wrecked here. Fuck! I don't have that timing though. Fuck! Nope. I'm about to fucking die. I'ma die. I'm about to fucking die though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that move. A lot of his moves. <clears throat> I was way off on the timings. I, if I had full potions, instead of starting with just like two high potions, I might have been able to do it. But I'm going to retry. And I'm going to have full potions this time. And uh, I need to GG get good. But the, um, yeah, the issue was the timing on, um, yeah, some of the moves. I, I, I wasn't getting it. All right, let's try it again. All right. Shit, what the fuck? Yeah, so I missed him there. All right. No. Fuck. Nope. Damn. Yeah, he is fucking tough. Holy shit. I don't have that one. Failed. Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Holy shit. What the fuck? Woo. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay. Really? Fucking shit! Shit! Oh man! Come on! Come on! Yes! Come on, let's get some fucking damage in there! Ugh! I don't, I don't see him. Fuck. Come on. I'm starting to understand him just a little bit, though. Come on! Fuck you! Come on! 
Come on! Fuck you! You piece of shit! Yes! Oh! Fuck me! Woo! Oh! Oh, man! It's the timings on this one. Oh, that's um. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Those who kill for sport deserve no better. I did it. <laughs> it counts, right? <laughs> Preoccupied patron. Excuse me. What do you want? The baker sent me to find you. I am a sorry, selfish sod, aren't I? Depends. I'm certainly not a baker. Master must rue the day he took me in. Time was the sight of the fang used to calm my nerves. But now look at her. I take it you miss the mother crystal. I hated her, but she was all I knew. Worked her minds for years. And when she shattered, part of me shattered with her. I had to trade my pickaxe for a rolling pin, but I'm no good at baking. Every loaf I touch collapses. My bread's as hollow as I am. Spread us, get she better. Was the only thing that could fill the hole inside me. Oh, I loved her, damn it. Um, but now she's gone. She's never coming back. What am I supposed to do? I ask you. How does a shell of a man learn to live again? Not, not, not rely on a crystal. Express yourself. Remember the good times, or focus on your work. Hmm. Uh, express yourself. Perhaps you could express yourself in your work. If you miss the fang, maybe you could recapture it somehow. Recapture it? I'm a baker, not a... You know, you might just be right. What a fool I've been! I have to get back to the bakery right away. Oh. Thank you! Thank you, my friend! You've opened my eyes! Hey! Wait. Suppose he won't be needing an escort then. Nope. Alright, so we have done this. We will go back here to turn this in, and then we will do the actual side quest. Uh the actual quest. Right. Ah, there you are. The man who lit a fire under my wayward apprentice. <laughs> Though I worry you might have stoked the flames a little too high. He damn near ran me down trying to get to my oven. Oh, well, he's Master, motivated at least. It's ready. Behold the Drake's Balm. A truly unique creation. Looks good. I dare say it is. What's in the middle? Just look at it. A perfect likeness of the Fang herself. Her steeple peaks. Is it just her bread? fulsome spurs. Her inviting hollow. True, my loaves collapse more often than not. But what's the Fang without her crater? Why, no Fang at all. And look, inside. She's filled to bursting with a bounty of beautiful crystals. Salt crystals! Master, I have found my purpose. I must use my work here to preserve the memory of the Fang. Uh, well, if it tastes half as unique as it looks, I'd certainly say you're on to something. I want to try it. <laughs> Not only is my apprentice back, but he's finally pulling his weight. With any luck, I might even have a new delicacy on my hands. I don't know how you did it. 
but you have my thanks. Quest complete. Nice. <clears throat> Use your loom. Use your loom. This is a very, very simple one. All we had to do is talk to the guy, give him a piece of advice, and then... Bread! Now I'm hungry. Now, do some... Yes, I know they're you... quite so. The finest fabrics! This has made me hungry. It's good times. Alright, let's go, um... Let's go see Otto. Looks like I found the river. Now where's Otto? <laughs> Oh, sorry I'm late. Yeah, oh, Claude. Yeah, we're busy with hunts. I had a quick scout about, and I reckon this area is our best bet. Seems Blackthorn's the only one who thinks smithing with his stardust stuff's a good idea. It's just lying here, waiting for any old fool to fill his boots. But unlike any old fool, you thought to bring a wagon. Well spotted. Now get filling. Where's the shovel? Um. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait. So this is Stardust. That's a... It just looks like black sand to me. It, um, yeah, is it? Uh, what, what, wow, yeah, yeah, that's a um, very realistic way to having to grab some dirt and bring it. Yes, mm, very nice. Yeah, we, we have plenty to build, uh, to build that engine now or thingamajig and, um... Yes, oh, we need five. But wait, I see a piece of candy. Let me grab the piece of candy, and then I'm, I'll go back. Three desert roses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, where else? Up here? No, it should be along the river, right? Oh, yeah, right there. Where's the other one? I am missing one. I don't quite see where it is. Should be along the river, perhaps? Oh yeah, right there. Perfect. This should be enough for now. Let's see how Otto's getting on. How much did you get? Enough. I hope. I got five handfuls! <laughs> From my pocket. Here, let me empty my pocket. Ugh. <laughs> More than me. <laughs> uh, put it all together and I can't see Blackthorn complaining. Much. Here, Clyde. Do you fancy a walk? Sure. Let's go walk in this scorching hot desert. That's it. Sid will be proud. Of what? Is that just where we were? Of you, you idiot. The way you've carried on what he started. When we first met, I had you down as a spoiled little puppy who enjoyed nothing more than biting the hand that fed you. Really? Five years on. You're the one doing the feeding. So thanks for proving me wrong. You weren't wrong. But I changed, thanks to Sid. And thanks to you. When I suggested taking on his name, you were the first to back me. And if you hadn't, no one else would have. I couldn't have done any of this without you, Otto. No, give over. You're making me blush. All I did was choose hope over despair. 
I gave you a chance. Yes. But you're the one who took it. You took a rabble of homeless, hopeless outcasts and put them back on their feet. Gave them something worth fighting for. Just like the old Sid did. About time I was heading back, I reckon. All this scrabbling about in the sands taking its toll on the old pins. I'll see you back at the hideaway then. You can take a well-earned rest when you get there. Oh, I plan to. Believe you me. But I'll make sure Blackthorn gets his precious black sand before I put my feet up. He'll only moan otherwise. Right. Ready to go home, boy? Oh, yeah. But do you know what we do before we go home? We go to the... We got a last wing! That is what we do. Mm-hmm. Because there's a side quest there. Oh! Good day to you. See you. Mm, good day to you at all. Oh! Hey, Quentin. So, ah, asshole. Clive. Your timing is exquisite, as always. I have a concern which you may be able to assist me with. Go on. There are whisperings afoot of shadowy figures having been sighted outside the village. Ooh. Rustlings in the undergrowth. Ooh. Suspicious noises. My people fear that they are being watched. It may be no more than a surfeit of nerves, understandable in the current climate, or it may be the prelude to something altogether more dangerous. Given what I hope you'll forgive me calling your nose for trouble, I wondered if you might investigate. Yeah. Of course. Excellent. You might begin by speaking with the good citizens of Lostwing. Listen to their tales and make what you will of them. All right. I will. For great justice. So. Right. Let's see what the people of the village have to say. I better find out if this. Probably this way. I don't know. Let's go talk to that one person just first. That. Something we need to take more seriously. Yeah. Yeah, let's find out. I've noticed that uh, after a significant part of the story, it's just a bunch of hunts and side quests. So it seems like my videos is going to be that. Like, like, like one really important part of the story, maybe two, and then uh, one video that's just hunts and side quests. <laughs> You're right, Sid. Something on your mind? There is actually. Can I ask you something? Quentin tells me people have mentioned shadowy figures out in the woods. Have you noticed anything unusual? Oh, that. No, sorry, can't help you. I heard the rumors, mind, from the lads working over at the vineyard, but none of them have seen anything either. All right. Thanks anyway. The vineyards, huh? Do you have a moment? There's talk of suspicious figures in the woods. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary? No, but I've heard something. Sound of scraping metal, like someone sharpening a sword. Ooh. Where was this? In Lorbert's Pass. Ooh. Was out foraging for herbs when I heard it. Screeching out from between the trees. Ran back here as quick as my legs would carry me. And I ain't been back since. I see. I'll look into it. Thank you. Now, this is starting to, like, not sound like an actual uh, person. This is probably, it's, it's probably a beast. Oh, turtle. What's up? Oh, I got a treat. Oh. 
Hmm. Mm-mm. Seems Lorbert's pass is our best bet then. What do you say, Togo? Shall we go and investigate? Shall we jump on Ambrosia or shall we fight? Get some more ability points. Ambrosia. Fly Ambrosia. We can at least grab the pieces of candy at the same time, right? Oh. Yeah, that's right. I haven't restocked on potions. Oh, Jesus. I, I really need, need to go to, like, Chocobo Ed. Like, Driver's Ed, but like, yeah, Chocobo Ed. Ah. Uh, you there. Ha 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 ha. Fuck. He's seen us. Oh, shit. Get ah. Them before they escape. Ah, oh, those fuckers. Oh. Black Shields. Here. Jesus, fuck. Yeah, they were. No. Yeah, no. What are you doing here? No. Fucking chance. This is gonna be East Fool and fucking shit all over again. I can't really reach him, but you know. Yeah, the fucking black shields, yeah. Because these guys have been helping the bearers. So that's probably why they're here, right? Where's the rest? Right there? Okay. Let's go. Come on, Come on you fucking pieces of shit. I'm gonna fucking rip that ass open. Are there more? Where? What? Hey, Torgal. That's right, you get him, Torgal. There you go. Fuck you, Black Shields. Piece of shit. You're coming here to fucking wreck the place and kill everyone, weren't you? Fucking shit, it's a good thing I came. Not cool. Why were they here? Were they planning an attack on Lost Wing? Probably! To Quentin. Yes! Fucking pieces of shit. Clive, how goes the hunt for our sinister figures? I found some black shields hiding near Lorbert's Pass. They're gone now. Black Shields. The Empress's former bloodhounds. Mm -hmm. Though they serve another master now. One who means to root out and destroy both me and those I care for. And it would appear the pack has finally caught the scent of its prey. Damn it all. I had hoped I would have more time than this. More time to prepare. But if we are cornered, we have no choice but to bite back. And bite back we shall. Hmm. I'm sorry. You're going to need to explain. Yeah. Who did the Black Shield serve now? And why would that person want you dead? Because I want him dead. Who? The former Lord Chief Justice of Sanbrac. All that I have built here is for him. I don't understand. Why him? Why Lost Wing? I suppose it is better that you know the truth. Well, yes, please. I was a member of the judiciary once. So sickened was I by the injustice of this world, I swore to fight it. And fight it I did in my own small way. I saw more than a few corrupt officials condemned to the very cells into which they had thrown blameless innocence. Men to whom the law was but a scourge to turn against the powerless. And throughout, it was the Lord Chief Justice who backed me, who was my one true ally in the quest to see justice done. So what changed? I discovered that he hunted bearers for sport. Oh, fuck. I was a fool to think he shared my hatred of venality and vice. Solid ruse. His support for me was no more than a facade. Yeah. 
Fucking shit. A means shit. of ridding himself of his rivals. A mask to hide the rot beneath. I filed suit against him immediately. His response, however, was rather more visceral. He had my entire family. Sorted, oh, fuck. He faced no punishment whatsoever. Let's change that. I lost everything. My loved ones. My livelihood. My position. The faith I had once held that any modicum of justice might be achieved through the courts. So I set about enacting my own. I tracked down every soul who served him and slit their throats myself. Wow. But the man himself proved an altogether more difficult target. With money and power come protection. And so I saw that I would need an army of my own. I came here to Lostwing and began recruiting like-minded individuals. And everyone here knows this is why you do what you do. Of course. They too have lost loved ones to the bearer hunts. Seen faultless friends sent to the gallows to spare the guilty. All under the watchful eye of the Lord Chief Justice. Our wounds are the same. And our cause is the same. We are comrades. And our revenge is already in motion. We know where he hides, how numerous and well-trained his guard. What we did not know until now, however, was that his plans may already be in motion too. Quinton. Our time is short. He may move against us at any moment, unless we move against him first. My friends and comrades, it begins. Make ready for war. Holy shit, though, this side quest escalated quickly. Is there going to be a continuation to this quest? I hope so. Let me fight alongside them or some shit. Like, there's got to be something we can do, right? I'm not going to change his mind. But there's none. It make for like, I hope. Oh, uh, I hope that it does become a side quest, side quest that we can join to help them out, right? I want to go see what's at that shop there. Says there, show that there's something new. Welcome, welcome. Oh, the enhancer. That's what it is. Oh, Regent's fists. Ooh. Ooh. I do like using that move a lot. You got music? King Gil, that's ten thousand Gil more than usual. What the hell? You've a keen eye. Hmm. Nah. I'll be here if you need me. Okay. Let's go back to the hideaway. Yeah, let's. Wow, that side quest went from like looking for shadowy figures. I said this is all Blackthorn needs. Into war. Holy shit. Anyways. Alright, well, we'll see if this is enough for Blackthorn in the next video. Ta da! It's fucking weird.